Hi, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Xiu Nan Song. Let me introduce our work on learning tensor-based features for whole brain fMRI classification. fMRI classification is a very important topic in neuroscience. There are two approaches: ROI-based and whole brain-based. Manual ROI has several problems. It is labor-intensive, subject to human error, and based on anatomical assumptions. On the other hand, it has high statistical power and computing efficiency. In contrast, whole brain analysis needs no human interaction, no anatomical assumption, and has high exploratory power. However, due to big data volume and small sample size, it is more likely to overfit and has higher computational demand. These problems can be tackled by dimension reduction. Therefore, we focus on dimension reduction for whole brain fMRI classification. Existing state-of-the-art methods include feature selection by mutual information or elastic knight and feature extraction by PCA. However, these methods all take vectors as the input. This breaks the spatial structure of the whole brain fMRI. Since fMRI volumes are 3D data naturally represented as tensors, this motivates us to use a popular tensor-based feature extraction method, the multilinear PCA or MPCA. It takes tensors directly as the input, so that the spatial structure in the whole brain fMRI is well preserved. We learn features in two steps with MPCA-based feature extraction followed by feature selection. In the first step, MPCA learns low-dimensional tensor features directly from the 3D whole brain fMRI. This is done by estimating three projection matrices to reduce the dimension in the first mode, the second mode, and the third mode, respectively. In the second step, we select the most informative MPCA features and feed them into SVM for classification. For brain imaging, it is important to localize discriminating regions and interpret the features. Therefore, we construct a spatial map for interpretation by thresholding the weighted sum of MPCA bases. The figure on the bottom right illustrates six MPCA bases with the third dimension concatenated in a row. We evaluate our two MPCA-based methods on a challenging multi-class fMRI dataset from CMU against five other computing methods on four tasks. On the whole, our two methods achieve the top two classification accuracies outperforming the other five methods. Finally, we study the interpretation of learned features. We show the most informative voxels in red for four methods. Note that the elastic knight on the top right selected only a few voxels because it has a highly sparse solution. Our method is shown on the top left. It has two good characteristics. First, we can see the voxels selected are spatially coherent, which is good for the interpretation. Second, our discriminating regions are largely consistent with the ground truth provided in the science paper shown in the center. These observations show the good interpretability of our methods. That's all. Thank you and see you in Munich.